everyone welcome back to Lexi's world well today I'll be making chili shrimp with asparagus and quinoa all right so I'm doing the quinoa with some mixed vegetables I'm gonna do my shrimp I'm gonna season it up with chili onion garlic powders and stuff like that right and then I'm gonna make the asparagus so that's gonna be the meal for today all right so let's get started so in the pot I throw the quinoa in already with some water I'm gonna put so this is a little bit of grind up onions and stuff I put a little a teaspoon I'm gonna put some mixed vegetables in it Put mixed vegetables to suit your liking. So I just put some frozen ones in there. Mm -hmm. I have, I put a pack of the Maggie seasoning. A quarter, tees a quarter teaspoon salt. Cover it and I'm gonna put it on the fire or a little bit. When it goes up a bit, I'm gonna turn this fire on really low and let it cook really slow. Steam while I um while I'm gonna season up my shrimp, alright? and asparagus so i'll leave that on the stove cooking on low right so while my quinoa is steaming with the vegetables i'm gonna start with the shrimp i cleaned the shrimp i took out the scales and everything i usually leave the ends on in that way the shrimp don't shrink if you take it off the shrimp can get really small all right so I just leave the bottom on. I wash them. I clean them up properly with a little bit of lemon and everything. The next step is, so this is the chili, right? I use one tablespoon of chili. I use, this is the paprika. I'll use two teaspoons, right? Garlic powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. Then there's onion powder, one teaspoon. I'll use a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of chili, the chili flakes. Okay. The hot pepper is optional. I use a half of a teaspoon of hot. I grind the pepper up and throw it in our a bit of black. Just a touch of black pepper, not much. So The shrimp. So I put on the pan to heat while my quinoa is still steaming. Bring it down a bit. One tablespoon of olive oil. Now I'm gonna put the shrimp in. And I'm just going to cook this for about a couple of minutes, maybe three minutes. So, this is my shrimp. So, in the same pan that I made my shrimp, 
I'm gonna so this is my asparagus I wash them I clean them I trim them and everything already tablespoon of unsalted butter in the pan what I'm gonna do a tablespoon of um, olive oil that's it a tablespoon of lemon I'm gonna put the lemon in the olive oil okay so the butter is there this is the I put the lemon in there a little bit squeeze a little bit more feel that in the pan I'm gonna turn off the stove on the low I'm gonna put my asparagus in that okay. So, when I did this from the bowl, I just put a little water on it. Then, and let this cook down a little bit. I'm going to put a couple, this is one teaspoon, I'll do like three teaspoons of the vegetable stock. And then let it just simmer down a little bit. And just leave that there to simmer. Cover it and press it and let it come up, let it simmer up, okay? Let me check. My quinoa is still cooking. So I'm gonna put in here. So I finished cooking my asparagus. I put them up. I put them right in the corner here. Asparagus is finished. The shrimp is finished. What I'm gonna do now? I put a little bit of parsley. Okay. On the asparagus. On the cheese. My asparagus and, I put it, and the, sh the shrimp and the asparagus. All right, so now I'm gonna just get the rice together not the rice, the quinoa. So, the as so the quinoa is finished cooking now. Throw the quinoa over. Everything is finished now. So that's my quinoa with vegetables. It's mixed vegetables. I just used the frozen pack. Um, this is my plate asparagus shrimp chili shrimp and the quinoa asparagus and chili shrimp 